Hello, it's me. Welcome to a new video on the channel. Today I will be doing a review of Mamamoo's new album also known as the new bible called Reality in Black. Let me tell you. I was so excited for this album and the teasers had me completely shook. I wish I could go in debt on the lyrics but they aren't out yet so I'm gonna have to do it with whatever I hear. I had already heard Destiny before and I love it a lot. The song gives me a western vibe and their performance on Queendom was legendary. They are the winners for a reason am I right? I feel like my favorite part is before the beat drops. It's like this moment of power. I give an 8 out of 10. Universe. How do I explain it? This song is so cute but fresh at the same time. I love 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 this song a lot. The vocals like wow. I'm shook no words. And the little Ariana Grande like yo's. It leaves me speechless. You can tell Cosmic Girl worked on this song. This song gets an 8 and a half out of 10. <laughs> Ten Nights is just beautiful. I don't always listen to ballads but this song just makes me feel things. And can we talk about Moon Bile's vocals? That girl can sing. Imagine being the rapper of a group but having vocals like that. She's Nation's vocalist. This song gives this sweet vibe. Very calm and lovely. A little bit sad. The perfect song to listen to when you're going through a breakup. forever makes me feel empowered. That's what I feel whenever I listen to any of Mamamoo's music. But this song it hits differently. It just shows how versatile Mamamoo is. They really just try any genre and kill it. I really do love this song a lot. I can totally picture an amazing music video going with this song. It gets a 8 and a half out of 10 from me. Better, this song. Wow, I say this about every song but this song is just so good. We got Nation's vocalist Moonbile again and I'm in love. Also just need to mention everyone's vocals more because girlies can sing. Have you heard Solar Belting? Ro. This song reminds me a lot of Mamamoo's older songs and I'm here for it. I am so in love with this album so far it hurts. This song gets a 9 out of 10. Hello mama, Hello Mama is just lovely. Everyone shines so much on this song. It's perfect. For some reason I can totally imagine myself walking at the Seine in Paris. Don't ask me why. Mama Moo proofs once again that their art is not just performers. 8 out of 10. <laughs> I 
Pokemon board is so cute, I don't know. There's just something very playful about it. The beginning of the song almost reminds me of a video game. And I just imagine walking through a Mario style field. I know, I have a weird imagination. But this song is just very bubbly and sweet. Big Moon Biles rap completes it with her changing it up a bit. I give it an 8 and a half out of 10. <laughs> Reality, what a song. I find it so calm and playful at the same time. I absolutely love the guitar strings and the composition in general. The way Hwasa starts the song just got me feeling things. And Wien's honey voice she had me floored. I love the chorus. This song puts a blanket on you when you're sleepy to make you feel better 8 out of 10. This song might just be my favorite song along with hip. I'm all here for all of their vocals and the jazzy vibes the song has just. No words. I can't wait to hear this song life if fake off rbw gives the girlies the respect they deserve by doing a world tour. I don't think I have a favorite part. I love everything about it. Imagine not loving high tension. Can't relate. 10 out of 10. I am a fan. Hello? They finally released I'm Your Fan on an album. This song I just it makes me so. I don't have words for it. Imagine writing a song about being a fan of your fans. I love Sola so much and thank her every day for writing this masterpiece. This song reminds me of why I love Mamamoo so much. They truly care about their fans. Not that other groups don't. But I just feel like the Moo and Mamamoo relationship is special. 5 million out of 10 to be honest. Do I really need to say anything about this song? It's a bop. More than a bop. It makes me want to write a distract myself. Mamamoo really told their haters to shut the fuck up. I doubt they have anything to say after this. And can we just talk about their courier? Anyone who said Mamamoo can't dance is quacking in their boots right now. We just got rapper Hwasa back and Moon Biles vs Legendary. This song gets a then thousand out of ten. Period. These were my personal opinions about each song. Let me know if you disagree or have other takes. I'd love to hear about it. For now I'll list my top 3 songs of the album and my take on it as a whole. Number 3. For me it has to be better. This song is just a bop and a half. Number 2. I feel like it's kind of obvious which one this is. I just love love high tension. This song wow. Obviously number 1 has to be hip. They really showed how powerful they are as a group with this one. It saved 2019. I have to say, this album might be my favorite one yet. Like every song slaps, it has zero skips. Reality in Black really is the album of the year to be honest. I love it a lot. And the album as a whole gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Anyways, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't watched my Mamamoo guide video I very much recommend you do. I talk about the 4 seasons 4 colors project, and the group as a whole. More videos are on their way. I'm also sorry for not uploading the Moon Bile Guide video. I finally finished the script and I'll try to upload it as soon as I can since my exams are finally over. The 1k special is also on its way. Leave some suggestions for types of videos you want to see on the channel. Stay woke. Mwah.